Greetings. I present the Rakin system. 3D Editor World Axis. In this episode, I will show you 3D production application with its built in Studio 3D Editor module. It allows you to create entirely new sets and to modify existing ones. We open the editor in the ABCD Mixers section. On the right side, we can find a button Open Studio 3D Editor. In this part, I will discuss a mouse navigation, a view and coordinates description. Currently, a default studio is loaded into the editor. A scene camera is selected above in the Camera tab. It enables free camera movements inside a virtual studio. The remaining cameras are used for creating camera positions for default studio shots. If we save the set and load it into the production module, then these cameras will be set for each of the VCs. At the moment we will be using only a scene camera. On the right side we can find a button with a choice of camera's view options. For example, a view left. And we will see our studio from the left. Let's return to a default perspective. We navigate the camera with three mouse buttons. Left for moving the camera. We select and point on a preview, hold the button down and move the mouse cursor. Right for rotating the camera's position. You can imagine that the camera is in one place and rotates in each direction on a fixed tripod. Mouse scroll always for moving along the Z coordinate axis. Above the preview window we can see buttons for locking coordinate axis. First I will enable two useful functions to facilitate orientation in the virtual space. When we choose Scene in the 3, additional options show up. The first one is Show Ground Grid, which at point 0 displays an auxiliary grid of a plane on which the studio was built. The second one is Show World Axis, showing auxiliary directions of the virtual world's coordinate axis. The X axis is depicted with a red arrow, the Y axis with green, while the Z axis with a blue arrow. Positive values are calculated as indicated by an arrow. In this case, the point zero is located on the floor in the middle of the studio. Positive X values increase with moving to the right of the point zero, as indicated by the red arrow. In this way, the camera's or object's coordinate is determined. If we press X button, leaving the rest inactive, we will block the possibility of moving the camera along X axis with the left mouse button. It will then be possible to only move the camera along Y axis and by scrolling the mouse along Z axis. We will also block the possibility of rotating the camera around X axis with the right mouse button. We will be able to rotate the camera only around Y axis while around the Z-axis solely with the use of a control field. Above the preview window we can find three command buttons, so-called meta-handles, this time for editing the objects. Move, Rotate, Scale. When we enable Move option and select an object in the studio with the mouse cursor, the so-called pivots will appear on the object. Each object has its own coordinates orientation, independent of the virtual world's coordinates. If the first option, the object's move, is enabled, then we are able to select one of direction arrows with the mouse cursor. It will then become highlighted in yellow. We move our object in a given direction. 
When we set the next available mode, that is rotate, the shape of the object's pivot changes. We will select one of the rotation's direction circle. It will become highlighted in yellow. The object will be rotated in accordance with the mouse cursor's movement. Let's activate the third available mode, Scale. The pivot shape has changed, this time for resizing the object in XYZ axis. We can enlarge or reduce the object. Orbit is one of the functions that facilitate our work with an object. When the object is selected and we move the cursor outside its pivots, with the left mouse button we can move the scene camera. In contrast with the right mouse button we can rotate the camera maintaining a fixed distance from the object. Then the object stays in the same place on the screen all the time while the camera circles around it. This makes it easier to work with an object when it is located inside the studio. In the editor window you can find yet another function that allows you to select a view for live sources. Two buttons are located at the top of the screen. Let's choose a default view. I will show you a talents form in the middle of the studio as an example. In source section we can see the control is in the production modules mixer A. Now we can see a translucent graphics with a frame on its edges applied there. Let's leave the editor for a moment without saving the changes. We will switch the state of Mixer A to a view of a live stream from the third camera. So we will use Cam3 button. Now we have to enable a chroma key algorithm. I will load a prepared file with the key settings. Let's go back to the editor. We press a button showing the live stream. Then, instead of translucent graphics, we will see a keyed image of a talent coming from the third camera. We still need to adjust the camera image to our virtual set design. Right next to Mixer A we can find a Configure Source button. We can scale the view and set the talent's figure on a virtual floor. Here is the final effect. Thank you! Wrecking. Keen on record.